Yo guys, what's up? This is Ethan from Docs coming back to you again with another Discord Dotfire video. Today we're going to be making a nice, cool little command usage um, type of command, which basically is just going to show us how many times each of our commands have been used, and you know the percentage of like total command usage. Uh, so it's like if the help command's been used 50% of the time, it means it's got half of the total commands used. But we'll dive into that after this short video from our sponsor. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. So we've got our nice little usage.py set up here, which we're going to be adding at the cog. But within our bot file, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add a new document called bot.command underscore usage. And that's just going to hook into the command underscore usage document in our MongoDB database. If you're using SQL, feel free to just change this over to SQL, but we're using those here with SQL, so that's up. Anyway, we're going to need two things this episode. We're going to need a listener, we're going to need a command. The listener is for on command completion. So this is going to be at command.cog.listener. And this, this is just going to be called async def on underscore command completion. And then this is just going to take self and it takes cdx as well. So pretty much just whenever a command is run, if it completes successfully, this will get called. And then this pretty much just means we can increase in here. So every time a command's run, we're going to take that command, we're going to increase its count. But we do have a logout command, and that can cause some issues for us. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to check if the command, using the qualified name, qualified underscore name, is logout and we want to return on that because this will get processed after the command completes but in the logout command we actually close the bot and so because we're about to make some asynchronous uh, functions with regard to mongo we don't want to leave those as pending which is going to throw up errors in your console so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to use that database connection that we've established in our main file self.bot.command underscore usage and we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to try to find this because this is how we're going to store our commands. So if it's none, so if we don't have an existing entry for that, we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to, I'm going to copy and paste this for future reference. We're just going to go ahead and we're just going to upset into it a nice little dictionary where the ID is going to be the qualified name of the command. This will make it unique and that way it ensures we're not overriding anything because we're only using say if we've got a, if it's a, if it's a sub command the parent command and sub command you know, might have some issues there because you're allowed duplicates we're just trying to avoid that by using the qualified name which would be the full name like new channel rather than just channel or new otherwise in here if there is an entry for that we just want to go ahead and we just want to increment that so we're just going to go and we're going to take the self dot bot find usage dot and then we're just going to increment and then what we're going to increment is just our ctx dot command dot qualified name we're going to go ahead by one and it's going to go ahead and increment the usage count field and so that's all we need for that and then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make a nice little command the name is going to be equal to command stats we've already got an alias for cs so we can't take that but you guys can check the last on there if you want. Otherwise, I'm just going to add a nice little description. Overall usage uh, for each command. And then I'm going to put a cooldown on this because it is a database query. I kind of want to rate limit that. And I'm just going to do one every five seconds. And it's going to be just per guild. Bucket type. Dot guild. And we don't need to take any arguments for that. We just need CTX. Because this is all going to be relating into the database. So we're going to get the data from, if you guessed it, the database. And we're just going to call a get all on this. To get all the data, every command in our database. And we're just going to map that to a dictionary. And we're just going to use like list comprehension, but for a dictionary. So we're going to go item. And we're going to be using the ID. And then that's going to map to 
the usage count. And then this is just going to be... Oh, that's that, because I can't spell again. And this is just going to be four item and data. This data is a list, we could loop over it, and that's that. And now if we want to get all the commands to run, all we have to do is total commands run. And then we're just going to go here, we're going to go sum, we're going to go command map, and we're just going to get all the values for that because they're all integers. Now if we want to sort, sort by value, I'll put some comments in here, make it nice, make it a little, a little bit cute for once, get total commands run. And then if we're sorting by value, I'm just going to call this a sorted list. And that's just going to be sorted. The iterable is going to be command map dot items. And then our little key is just going to be key, which is if you don't provide a key, it'll make one itself. But we want to provide a key for the second item because I want to sort by um, the count, not by the command name, but by the count. So what we're going to be doing here is just making a nice little anonymous function that takes x and we're going to sort by x1. And I'm just going to reverse this so that it's in a nice order, which you guys are going to see in about two minutes, I think. And then we're going to have pages because this is paginated like the last episode. And then we're going to just have a command per page. And I'm just going to set this to 10 commands per page. And then if you uh, watched our help command video, you'll recognize this part because it's the same. Start at zero, get the length of our sorted list of items, and then we're just going to step up by commands per page. And then our message, um, not memory view, damn. It's just going to be a little header showing what it is, how it works. And so it's just going to be command name, and then in here we're going to have usage percentage, and then it's going to be num of command runs so how many times the command has been run and then let's just chuck some new lines on that bad boy and now because i want to get all the commands uh, for this page we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take that from sorted list starting at i and then jumping up to i plus command per page and so we get to just loop over this bad boy for item for item that's perfect and then we're just going to make a use percentage and that is going to be our number of how many times the command has been run and then that's going to be offset by the total amounts of commands run and then we're just going to go ahead and in the message so that'll be a usage percentage it's going to be fairly accurate but in this message we're going to want to change it up just ever so slightly but firstly Let's put the command name in there so they know uh, what the statistic is for. Let's follow our format. Put this here, and then we're going to have the use percentage followed by a colon and then a dot, a two, and a percentage. And so essentially, all this is going to be doing is it just goes ahead and it's formatting. So rather than it using the round function uh, as we could do here, where we could wrap this in round use percentage 2 you can just do it quite simply like this you can put your variable and then you can put a colon and then afterwards any of the supported formatting options so the 2 just means it's going to round it to two floating point numbers which is just you know two percent type of thing and then the last character is basically just making the formatter convert it to a percentage but you can convert it to like you know decimal whatever and you can also have supported op brands of like this or like that not quite, it's it's slightly different, but you understand the general idea of it. Um, you'll have to Google those for that, but they're pretty cool. And if you format the string, say, if you can't guarantee the lengths of a variable, but you don't want your output to like be this long and then that long, and then, yep, you can use that to ensure that the variable always takes up this amount of space, which means it's nice, it's even, and it's just pretty cool. But that's my little explanation there. Anyway, we're going to jump in here and we're going to go ran. And then we're just going to put item one. And we're just going to put times in that off and then put a nice little new line character. And then outside of this, we're just going to append this to pages message. And then out here, we can just go ahead and start our paginator, which I have imported. That you will need to import this. The title is just going to be command usage 
statistics. And then in here, we're gonna go color. And we're gonna have a nice purple on this one, I think. So that's gonna be C9B4F4. And then the entries are naturally just going to be your pages. And length is one. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're just going to start that. Sweet, so that should be it. Let's go ahead, let's run the bot. Let's make sure it works. Wait. Let me drag this over here. So if I go ahead and I run command stats, it's likely there's going to be nothing there. It's not going to work because our database has got nothing in it, which means we've got no entries. So if we go ahead and let's just run, what, what, what are we running our commands? We can run the help command. And then let's just go ahead and let's run channel stats. Nice. What, what else do we have? Echo. Hello YouTube. Wait, so we've run three commands. So if we go command stats, look at that. Boom. Easy, easy. And so as I was saying before, you see how these are off-centered, off jar, off like this one's longer than the others. That's where you can use formatting in here. So rather than format this number, for item zero, you can also format it basically like this. Where if we go like this, it'll ensure that, you know, you've got at least 10 characters of space so that, you know, it doesn't look like this. It's all even, the numbers are all lined up. But I'm not entirely sure on that formatting syntax. You will have to Google that. But it's basically just a Python string like formatting. So you'll be able to look that up yourself, figure it out. And it's a good little challenge for you guys rather than me giving it all to you guys. So that could be the challenge for you guys. How can you make this? so that our formatting for the percentages is all in line no matter how big the command name is so if we go ahead and we run the help command uh once more say and then we run command stats look at that the help command is now at the top and command stats is now turned up as well but you anyway, know guys that's it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed and uh as always you guys finish off that challenge you want to ping me in menu docs discord when you've got it done I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a nice little command. It's a little bit of a change. Anyway, guys, peace out.